let's get going. Okay, as usual, okay, as usual, let's start with the scribble to unscribble, okay, to get the mind warmed up, warmed up to drawing, eh? So, you know what to do, right? Okay, you get your A4 paper, and then you do the scribbling, okay, and ask you to start, you start scribbling, and then uh, say stop, you stop, and then you create an image uh, out of that, okay? You create a nice image out of that, and then you can send to me, and let me have a look. Hi, Zikian. How's it going? All right. Okay, so you know what to do, right? Okay. One, two. You can close your eyes also so that you don't you don't see the uh, scribble. Okay. Hi, Genevi. Genevi. All right. Okay. okay. Here we go. One, two, start. Stop. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's my scribble. Okay. Okay, let's uh, give you about four minutes to come up with a nice uh, picture, nice artwork out of that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do mine. So, and you do yours. Make use of every line in the scribble. Okay. Make use. <clears throat> okay. So. Make use of every line in the scribble. Okay, this is my work. I'm going to put this here. Okay, so this is my scribble to unscribble. All right, did you get yours? And so once you get your scribble to unscribble, you send it to me. Let me have a look at it, yeah? All right, let me have a look at it. And uh, so I can give some comments on it. Now, again, I repeat why we do this is because this one helps you in problem solving. All right, so whenever there is a problem, the scribble is a pre represents the problem, okay? So what you do is, the moment you look at the problem in a different way, which means you see something in the scribble, that means you're looking at the solution in the problem. So your mind goes always into solution mode rather than always looking at the problem, all right? So this is the beautiful, beautiful thing about scribble to unscribble, okay? And you, you always practice this, okay? All right, okay, so send to me, yeah? Send to me what you have done. Okay, and later if you have time towards the end of the class, we will uh, try to do another scribble and unscribble. Okay, so today I'm going to ask you all to focus on two things. One is the animal, of course, we'll do animal. And I want to refocus on the face. How do you get a person's face? Okay, and a little bit of the upper body chest up. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of the, the whole of the face and chest up. So there are three parts to it. Okay, three parts to it. One is the front. Okay, like a portrait. Okay, front. The other one is not three parts, quite a number of parts. The other one is looking up. Okay, how do you draw someone looking up? And the other one is someone looking down. Okay, so how do you draw someone looking down? Okay, so that's one part. Okay. Then the other part is, how do you draw someone looking sideways? That means you're looking from here and you only see the, the not completely side, but a little bit uh, at an angle, at, a, at an angle, okay? And of course, the other side also at an angle, okay? So that's the second part. And the, fourth, and the third part is uh, profile, the side profile, okay? Just the side. Completely the side. So you can't see the other eyes. You can only see one eye. Okay, so these are the three areas we're going to cover for now. Okay, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I'll do the first one first. First one is the easiest, the, the, the front. Okay, so the front is you need to get the face overall. Okay, use pencil first, and then later you use pen. Okay, now. <clears throat> If this is where the ears is going to be, okay, so draw the ears, 
Okay, get the years of the person. Okay, Radhi, hi, how are you? Okay, and obviously, whenever you draw the years, you draw another line going around, another line going around like this. Okay, and then a short line curved up like this, like this. And that will be enough for the years. Okay, a long line around it, and then a short, gentle, curved line on the inside of the cup of the ears. Okay? okay, once you have done that, this is where always the eyebrows is going to be. From the upper ear, from the upper ear, this is the eyebrows. Okay, or where the eyes is going to be. Of course, this is where the eyes will be. Okay, so the top will be the eyebrows. Here will be the eyes, and of course the nose, right? And then the mouth, okay? Okay, now, the eyebrows will say a lot about the person's expression, okay? So, a, a normal eyebrows will be like this, okay? And then you can color in, Right? Okay, of course this is a, a male or a man. Okay, for a lady, maybe the eyebrows will be rather curved and thinner. Okay, so you can use your own eyebrows if you like. Another eyebrows will be like a arch. Like so. So different types of eyebrows. Some eyebrows maybe just like that. Okay. So it really depends on how uh, the person is born with, you know, with the different types of eyebrows. So you can use whatever eyebrows you want, but this is the eyebrows I'm going to use. Okay. And then what you do is you can rub off these lines down. You get the eyeball first. You get the eyeball first. Right, you just get the eyeball and then you can darken it. Okay, and then later, what you can do is you can just put a little white spot in the middle of the eyes and then color in. Now, sometimes you see the light in the eyes, the little white spot in the eyeball. Okay, it's that. And then you get the arch. Okay. So how do you do that? Okay. There are many types of eyeball. There are many types of eyes. There are eyes that looks like this. Okay. There are eyes that looks like this. Okay. There are eyes that looks like this. You know. So there are many types of eye shapes. Okay, there are eyes that look like this. So it really depends on how you want to draw the eyes. Okay, so usually you'll get a little bubble here at the side. Can you, have you seen that? Everybody's eyes in the where the nose is pointing, where, where the nose is going in, you'll see a little bubble at the side of the eyes. Okay, so, so this is how I'm going to draw my eyes. And then you draw a little small line here and a small line here. You don't have to complete it even. You don't even have to complete it. Okay. And then you can get a double eyelid for him. Okay, you can get a double eyelid for him. Okay, another line that goes over the eyes. Okay. All right. Now the nose. You get a U first, even though nose also there are many types of nose, but I'm just going to give you a standard nose, okay? Let's get a U here first, and then a little curve here and a little curve here. Do you see that? And you can rub, you can rub off this line now, okay? So you can rub off this line, all right? And you can draw a line here and a line here, okay? 
So like one line on top here, another line just below here. And maybe you can, a small line there as well, just to give the nose a bit of a shape. Mm -hmm. Can you see that little curve? Curve here? Okay. All right. So once you've done that, let's say this is where the mouth is. Okay, let's make him smile. Okay. Let's make him smile. So you always you see it in the here, it goes in a bit. Okay, this part goes in a little bit. So you just keep that U thing there. And then you join. Okay. And then the lower lip. So big lips. <laughs> Very big lips. Okay. But you can always thin it up. You can always thin it up. Like this. Okay. So you can thin here and then big here. And then a little curve here and a little line here. All right. And then you can also draw a line right here and a line right here to give this line here and this line here. And some of y'all can even give a line here and a thin line here, just below the eyes. Just below the eyes, like that. Okay, make him look more mature a bit, make him, to make him look a bit older, you know? But if you don't want to make him look older, you want to make him look young, then you don't have to really put this line here. All right? Okay, and then you can draw whichever hairstyle you like. Whatever hairstyle you like. Okay? So I'm going to draw a hairstyle like this. All right? So you can draw whatever hairstyle you like. Okay? And then, where will the neck be? The neck will be here. And here. okay, and then I'm going to draw a collar with two lines. All right, and the shoulder like this. You can draw a little apple here, an apple. Okay. And you can draw a line, a small little curved line like this. Just above the upper lip. Okay. Hope I'm not going too fast. All right. Okay. So that is the front. Okay. That is the front. Okay. Now I'm going to, so are you all done with the front? Okay. Hope it is uh, easy. Hope it is simple lines. This little, little lines that just adds up, right? It forms the image. Okay. All right. I'm going to rub it off now. And I'm going to draw someone looking down. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. How do you draw someone looking down? Okay. All right. This is the shape again. All right. <clears throat> and then what you do is, this is where the nose is going to be. Okay, so quite a big nose. And then, no, actually, wait a This is the curve, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And this is where the nose is. Okay. This is where the nose is. So just draw a little curve like a V. Not really a U. It's like a half U, half V. Okay. It's a curve. Of course, this line you can't see anymore. Right. And then here is where the eyebrows is. Okay. This is where the ears is. Okay, you really cannot see the entire ears because you know it's, it's looking down, so you just draw two lines like that. Okay, 
and then it draws the hair Okay, you can draw another line like this. Okay, and normally if he's looking down, you can draw the shoulder from the ears. Okay, and you really cannot see the collar on that side. Okay, and so, so he's looking down like this, the shoulder apparently will be higher. Okay, because the head has gone down. I get it. All right. So you can, of course, you can color in the hair a lot more. Okay, you can color in the hair a lot more uh, when you have time for that one. Okay. So can you see? You can see a lot more of the hair. So you, just to make sure that the hair is really looking like hair. So you can put the hair everywhere, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, okay? All right, so that is someone looking downwards, all right? Okay, now what we'll do is someone looking up, okay? All right, so here we go. Okay, someone looking up. Okay, how do you do that? Well, you get the curve. All right, you get the curve. And then you quickly get this line here like this. Just get this line, home. Quarter, not half, a half will be here. Three quarter will be here. This is quarter, okay, around here. And then you get the neck. You rub this off, okay, you rub this off, and then you get the nose, also like we, a little bit. You get the nostrils, okay, you get the mouth, okay. Then you get the eyebrows, all right? And then you get the eyes. You can just align and then a little spot there, not round, la. it's not round, okay? The ears will be lower because it's looking upwards. So it will not be the same as uh, uh, where the eyes is, it because it's tilted this way, so the ears will be lower. Okay, and then you can get the hair. All right, and then you can get the neck like that. And if you want to get a line here, also you can. And if you want to complete the eyes, also you can. All right, so you can put another line over the eyeball. And if you want to come get some lines over there, also can. All right, so this is someone looking up, okay? Okay, all right, so it's quite simple, right? Okay, all right. Okay, now, let me rub this off. So are we all right? Face front, up, and down. Okay, so the three, yeah? Okay, next one, uh, what we'll do is, we will look at uh, drawing uh, at an angle. Okay, this angle and that angle. Okay, so again, let's get the oval shape, okay, and let's get 
line like this. So this guy is looking this way. Okay, he's looking this way. So which means if this is where the eyes is, then the ears will be somewhere around here. Right? And then the nose and then the mouth. Can you see the entire thing is shifted over here now? Okay, so it will be like this, like this, and like this, but all at an angle. Okay, more space here, little bit of space here. Because then the ears will be here. You cannot see the other ears, huh? correct? You cannot see the other ears. Okay, now let's get the eyebrows first. Okay, full eyebrows here and a short eyebrow here. Okay, short eyebrows, long eyebrows. Because at an angle, huh? so you cannot see the other eyebrows completely, but this one you can see full, okay? Okay, you can rub on these lines now huh? because they were all just indicators, okay? So you get the circle here and you get a circle here, okay? Let's get the nose, which means this part here you cannot see, right? You can also curve it like this. Okay, then you get the top of the eyes and bottom little bit here, little bit there and a little bit here. Okay, you want to get a double eyelid Let's get a double eyelid, okay? And then the mouth, you can get the line here, and the lower lid, like this, and a line. And if you want, you can get a thin upper lid, like that. Okay, let's get him a nice chin. Let's get a nice chin for him. This one is a bit too fat. So you get the nice jaw for him. And then you can also get a line like this. And if you want, you can get that little line here. Okay. And then you get the neck. And the collar towards the side there. So this part, you can see the shoulder. In this part, you cannot see much. Okay, and this is where the line is for the ends. And of course, you can get whatever hair you want for him. That's entirely up to you. Right? Okay. And so that will be the side of the face. Okay, now I'm going to get you the other angle. Okay, let's try the other angle now. Okay, let's move now. All right. Okay, so let's try now. The other angle. That means just now he was looking this way, now we make him look this way. Okay, so here we go. So this is where the oval face is. Okay, I'll go slow, yeah? So get the oval first. Get the oval first. Okay, okay, let's get the ears. Okay, if this is where the ears is going to be. Okay. Draw the ears first. So it is an, at an angle, correct? So the ears will be inside. You cannot see the other ears. Okay? As I told you, all the eyebrows will be the same level as the top of the ears. Okay? So which means like this. And here is where the eyes will be. Right? The nose will be around here and the mouth will be around here, okay? So you only 
Can you see the face is already formed? Now all you have to do is put in the details. Lah. But as long as you get the angles right. Okay, so even the ears, even the nose, you can do that. Okay. Okay, given the eyes, you can make him close his eyes. I wonder what he's doing. Okay, eyes is closed. And the eyebrows can be here and here. The mouth can be like this and like this. What does he look like, huh? Okay. You can even draw a line to show how the mouth is coming out. Okay. Let's get him a chin. Okay. And here is a bit too fat. Okay, let's get a nice jaw for him. Like that. The neck, can you see how it comes and then curves in? And then, yeah, the neck is here. A line here and a line here. Who does it look like? Who does it remind you of? Anyone? Okay, so the, the nose, you can, you can give any kind of nose you want. You can even give a nose which is like this and then comes out, you can see the nostrils. You can draw a nose like that. You can even draw a nose which is like that. You can even draw a nose which is like that. So there are many kinds of nose. Okay. And if you want to draw the eyes, you can get the eyeball, right? And draw the upper eyes and then the double eyelid. Now it looks very surprised. <laughs> And then you can get the hair. Like so. Okay. And I see some questions here. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to rub this off now. Let's try, let's try the profile now. Okay, let's try the profile. Okay, let's get the oval. Okay, this now. The ears was here and here, correct? That's the front. And then for the side, we drew the ears here, correct? Now, for the profile, we'll draw the ears here. Okay, all right, so this one comes off. This one comes off. And this one comes off. In fact, we can little bit over here, okay. Now you have more space. Okay, so this is where for the profile the ears will be. Okay, so it looks like this guy's um, got a round face, yeah, a round head. Let's get the lines for the ears. Okay. The eyebrows will be here, the eyes will be here. The nose will be here, 
world and the mouse will be here. Right? That's where your profile is. And normally this part here will go in a little bit. The eyes, from the eyebrows to the eyes, it goes in a little bit like this. And of course this one you can't see anymore. Right? Okay, so once you've got that, let's get the nose first. Get the nose. And then the nostril and curve up. A little bit of a nostril here, thick line here, and then you go up. Okay. And then the only can, you can only see one eyebrows, so I'm going to do a thick one here, and then you thin out here. Okay, like that. And then this is where you pay attention. Yeah, the eyes you do like this. Have you seen in Max you do this and you do this, right? Ah, you do this. You just do this. Right? And then you do a little run like that. And then you do another round and form like oval. Okay. All right. You can get your double eyelid over there. And if you want, you can get some eyelashes. Okay. Just a few dots. Can you see the dots here? Can you see? Can you see the dots? Yeah. Okay. Just a few dots. Okay, then the mouth bit, okay, I'm going to run this off here, just all indicators, huh? Here you curve like that, you curve in and out, and then in again, upper lip, and then out again, lower lip. And then curve out, this is for the chin. Okay, this is for the chin. Chin is a bit more out. And then you'll get, this is the upper lip, this is the lower lip. You get a line like that. And then you get a short line for the upper lip and another line for the lower lip. And then you can get a line here, and you can get a line here. Right? Let's get a nice jaw for him. So all this, no need. And then you get the neck, and then you get the neck. Right? And then, of course, you can get whatever hair you want for him. Okay. So, Ta-da! That's how you get a profile. Okay? Face. Are you all right? Okay. So we did front, up, down, angle, right, and profile. Okay? So please, uh, 
um, you got to practice. You got to really practice. Okay, but as long as you know where the angles are going to be. Okay, like this is the front. Okay, this is the side. Okay. All right. Uh, this is the up. Okay. And this is the down. Okay. So you got to keep practicing those dimensions and angles, and then you will get it. Okay. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to draw birds. Okay, we're going to draw some birds. Okay, we're going to give you some basic ones first. Just a bird standing, okay, in one place. You get around. Can you get a shape like that? Like a teardrop, like a teardrop. Can you do that? That's the tail. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? This one is too short. All right. There's a simple, simple bird circle. Get a shape like this. Join, curve, body. And then get some feathers. Okay, around, like that, tail, join, another body, the beak, and the legs, and you get the feathers. And then you can rub off this one, you can rub off this one, and you can rub off this one. Are we okay? Very simple, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're done with the bird. Okay? Okay. How do you do that again? Around here. The teardrop. The tail. The eyes. The beak. The neck. The body. The leg and some feathers. Just a big fat bird. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, show me all the pictures you've drawn, yeah? All the pictures that you've drawn, please send to me at the number. Okay, I'm going to show you a flying bird. Okay, get the curve. Get the circle, sorry. 
get a circle. Okay, you get, this is going to be a little bit tough and difficult a little bit, but just see how I do it first. Just get a curve like that. Okay, like that. Because this is where the eyes is. And the beak. Right? Can you get that? Curve out and then you go in. Here also. Do that. So one line like this and another line like this. This is a bit cartoonish kind of a bird, okay? It's a bit cartoonish kind of a bird, okay? So as to make it easy for you to draw this until you get good, okay? And then you get the wings. And here you get the wings, okay? Go in a little bit, all right? Come down. And like that. Of course, you can put all kinds of details after that. Okay, you can draw longer feathers like this. Okay, just draw longer feathers like this. And then you curve in a little bit. Of course, this one you can rub off. You can just draw a few lines like this. And sometimes when the legs and when they're flying, their legs are inwards. Have you seen that? Okay, I don't know whether you've seen that or not. But their legs are for aerodynamic, like their legs are inwards a little bit. Okay, do you think you can do this? Can you try? Okay. All right. Disney character, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Okay. Also a bird. Okay. This time, have you, you guys, when you all draw a bird, draw always like this, right? Or like this. Correct? Every time we all draw like that, right? Uh, or like that. Am I right? This is how we all always draw a bird far away. Am I right? Okay. Well, you can do that as long as you put more body to it. Lah. You know? And then put the body here. And then here also you can put more body here. Okay, then maybe the tail here also. You can put the wings. Okay, so when you do that, the moment you put body to it, then you can all you can see a realistic looking bird, isn't it? Okay, so whether it be like this or like this or like this, you can. But just put more body to it, you know, just put more body to it. And then you put that, the tail like this, give color to it. Okay. Put more body to it. Okay. But this one is looking up, the tail. Body is important. So when you give body to it, uh, then it will look realistic. Okay? Then even if you look, when you draw birds far away, you can still give that same body to it. Just don't draw lines. Lines may not be, may look very uh, untidy. You know, not untidy, like it's like lazy kind of work. Okay, and it's not, it won't look nice also. 
right? So, uh, so birds is simple, okay? Especially when you draw birds far away, this is what you can do. But if you want to, <coughs> let's say, <coughs> you want to draw a bird diving down, okay? Okay, so this is the head, this is the body, this is the tail. Okay, can we do that? Can we just do that? Round here, and oval here, and a tail here. Okay? And then curve in, curve in. Okay? And then the beak, it's looking sideways. Join. This one, you can give curve to it. This one you can take off. And this one you can draw feathers. So it looks like it's diving down. And then you can give the two eyes here. Okay, and you can draw more lines like this. All right, looks like some superhero. <laughs> okay, hawk, like coming down like that. So it's very simple line, you see what I mean? Okay, it's like a tail, a body, a head, line, line. And then the feathers. The beak and the tail, the neck and the eyes. So you can have a bit diving down. Okay. All right. Oh yeah. So we have about five minutes left. Let's try the scribble and unscribble. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Scribble to unscribble. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start scribbling and then you unscribble. Okay, one, two, three. Start. Okay, you do yours, I do mine. Wow. Camera. I love faces. Okay, I love faces. So I'm going to draw. Okay, so this is what I got from my scribble to unscribble. All right? Okay, thank you very much. Stay safe and, and, and enjoy yourself. Bye.